In every district in America, we see benefits as a consequence of the U.S.-Israel relationship. And when you see that impact, it seems to foster an environment of innovation and cooperation. We call Israel the startup nation, and I see a lot of economic activity. Businesses they're establishing, discoveries they're making, patents that they're getting to fruition, all of which add to a better life, not only for Israelis and Americans, but also for the entire world. Israel is becoming a superpower, really, in terms of uh, agricultural technology, dealing with water. I mean, you have some really innovative technology that Israel has led on. So that partnership in that space is going to be more and more important. We learned a lot about the startup tech industry there and how so many of the advances that are happening there we're using here. We need to continue not just to maintain that strong bond, but to grow it. Israel, which was basically a desert, has gone from a shortage of water now to managing the world's best drip irrigation and crop management. They have advanced technology that makes it more cost effective, using less energy, and also making sure that they are environmentally friendly. That's something that I think the United States could learn from Israel. It's important for the technologies and the ideas that come from Israel here, but it's also really important for Israel's economic development for self-sufficiency. When you look at Israel and you think, how do they succeed? They face whatever challenge and they find a solution, and they make the world better. As Americans, we're committed to the strong relationship between the U.S. and Israel, and we really need to continue to invest in that relationship. Part of what makes all this work is the free movement of goods, free movement of people, free movement of ideas. You put it all together, and you actually have some magic happening.